Hello everybody, how are you? I'm fine, but like millions of Italians, today I'm forced to stay at home. So, why not talking about one of the greatest artists ever, who was from Florence, the city where I work? In fact, I'm a tour guide. My name is Samuele, and uh, I hope to be able to go back to my job, which I love very soon, and I hope to see all of you in Florence also, as soon as this uh, crazy period uh, ends. And uh, the artist I'm talking about is Michelangelo Bonarroti. I'm sure you've heard about him, one of the greatest artists ever. But what do you know about Michelangelo? Was he a very nice guy? Loved by everybody? Or was he more like a little Tasmanian devil, arguing with everybody? What do you think, first or second? Very much second. Michelangelo wasn't an easy person to deal with. Uh, he was nicknamed Michelangelo the Terrible. He was short, ugly, unkempt. He didn't believe in showers, they say. Oh, can you imagine, mamma mia. But he was so passionate, so intense. And um, that's why his statues, his works are so powerful because he concentrated there all of, it, all of his energy. And uh, Michelangelo didn't have an easy life. He lost his mother when he was a small child and his father, mm, he wasn't very nice to him. He tried to stop him from becoming an artist. But I think it was written in the stars. When Michelangelo was 14 years old, his talent was noticed by the greatest member of the greatest family in the history of Florence. The Medici family, and the name of this uh, extraordinary person was Lorenzo il Magnifico. Lorenzo somehow adopted Michelangelo, and Michelangelo, for three years of his life, was a Medici family member. This helped him enormously. But Michelangelo made his first important uh, statue in Rome when he was 25 years old. Uh, it was the year 1500. In fact, Michelangelo was born on the 6th of March, 1475. It was a Pisces. And the statue was called La Pietà, the Pietas, which means mercy in Italian. It's a statue depicting the Virgin Mary holding Jesus' body. So beautiful that Michelangelo became famous, and one year later, he went back to Florence and was given the commission for David. Probably the most famous statue in the world, a statue that made of Michelangelo a superstar. It was greeted as the most beautiful statue ever made. And here it is. Isn't it beautiful? Mm -hmm. Well, of course, this is my personal David. It's nice, but the authentic statue is much more beautiful, much bigger. So please come to Florence and I'll show you. If you want to get in touch with me, uh, you can visit my website, samtheguide.com, S-A-M-T-H-E-G-U-I-D-E.com. Uh, feel free to send an email. And in case I'm not available for the date you request, uh, I can put in touch with uh, another fabulous guide. I got a lot of excellent colleagues Tour guys in Florence are generally speaking very well prepared and very good. Mm -hmm. But before I say goodbye, let me tell you something more about the statue of David and about Michelangelo's personality. Michelangelo was, uh, believe it or not, also very romantic. He believed the marble is alive, it has to be loved. And he believed that every block of marble has already an energy, a statue inside. And the artist simply sees this energy and brings it to life. He only used Carrara marble, which he chose personally. And when he found a good block of marble, they say that he spent whole nights hugging it to give it love. But he couldn't pick the marble he used to make David. That huge block of marble arrived in Florence 11 years before Michelangelo was even born. And it was given to two different artists who tried to carve it unsuccessfully. One of them also said, this marble is bad, it's impossible to do anything good out of it. 
Well, 25 years later, with the same block of marble, Michelangelo made David. So imagine, the statue of David was made with a bad block of marble rejected by two famous artists. Michelangelo was really amazing, he was a genius. And if you wanna know more about David, hello, you must come to Florence and uh, I'll show you more, I'll tell you more. So for the moment, all I'm saying is uh, ciao ciao, arrivederci, and let me send you a kiss, a big kiss from Sam the Guide. Mwah!